Hello everyone, welcome to another Fine Beer Key Keg Projects. In today's, well, episode, I'm going to make a terrarium. Terrarium? I don't know, it's a bit of a mouth twister, so if I keep saying it wrong, it's one of those tongue twister things. I know what it should sound like, but I'm not going to keep cutting the camera just to get that right. I have here a 30 litre key keg, and this is the inside of that key keg, the inner liner, and turn that into terrarium. Now this should be a fairly quick project. I've got compost, I have here activated charcoal. This is apparently necessary to stop it in the um, nasties growing in the terrarium. And if you want me to make a video on how I made this, this is actually made from my barbecue charcoal. So I've recycled that too, and I turned it into activated charcoal. Quite easy to do, but it's a bit of a messy process. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to show you how I made this. Corks, rivets, they're quite smart. First time I'm gonna use them, help me join two parts of a key keg together. I have here some chunky gravel that go at the bottom and various plants that I have in and about the house that are either not doing very well or I think would do very well in a deuterium. Now in this deuterium I'm not going to use the whole canister like this, I am going to cut it at the bottom and the reason for that is because I think some of the plants I have chosen will grow pretty rapidly and I want access or easy access to any plants that grow in here just in case I need to uh, tidy things up a bit or take out some fast growing plants. So I've done my research. So you need five things. You need space, which I think a 30 litre key keg will give me, water, soil, plants, which are suitably slow growing, and insects. Now the insect part I do not have and I probably won't have. I'm not going to find any insects creeping around in my house or outside to introduce to my deuterium. So Got four of the major elements. This is the first deuterium I've ever made. I've got other variations or just open top ones like this. This has a carnivorous plant in it. I have also some air plants, which I think will add a nice feature and we'll go into that later. Add a bit of height into the 30 litre keg. So not everything is at the bottom of the key keg. I want to give some height and some composition to look at. So those are all the plants I've lined up. I'm not necessarily going to use all of them. I'll just see how it goes and how it looks in the bottom of the key keg. The only one that is quite special is this touch sensitive plant. You touch its leaves, they all close up automatically. And I believe that particular plant comes from the tropics. Well, that's the idea. Let's get started. I have here the base from a 20 liter key keg. I'm going to use this as the base to stand this up in. I plan to remove this outer piece of plastic, so I'm just using the black inner, and that's the first thing I'm gonna take apart. So I've got my electric cutters here, found them really useful. As a very tidy solution to act as a stand. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some masking tape around here. So I just use any old masking tape. This happens to be blue, it's not too sticky. Mark a line to where I want to make this into two parts. Starting point is to cut here, and that should give me enough soil and everything I need. And the idea is later is for this to overlap slightly, so that way I can join the top part to the bottom part. So let's give that a quick roll. It looks mostly straight. Yeah, I think that's a good starting point. Got here a very sharp drill. The sharper it is, the neater the job. we go two halves so what I plan to do now is to allow this to be sealed back up again and to allow any condensation that may form to fall back inside the bottom section is I want to insert this back into here such that this sits on the inside and then use the rivets to secure it this is going to be a little bit tight and a little bit tricky to do so I may have to cut a slit in this just to allow one to slip inside the other Now to put in the location holes, instead of using the drill, I've decided to use my soldering iron. Probably not the best thing to do with a soldering iron, but it's the only way I can see I can poke through two holes without deforming the key keg. Now I'm gonna put in a location pin. 
So I'm going to take one of these plastic rivets and push it through that first hole so I don't lose the location. Do the same on the other side. Okay, so that's with the rivets in there. And I think we're ready to go now to add soil and make a tutorial. We add the activated charcoal, which is a thin layer. Now we add some compost. Now to add some plants. Add in this succulent, I think this adds some nice colour. Add in this fly trap plant, just because I do have it. And it's got some ferns and it's got some moss. And also, but not least, some little beech trees, and if they grow well, I might bonsai them. Now the feature. I've got this out of my log shed, put a few holes in it, and this is where the air plants are going to live. Now I have a long nail on the bottom here. This will give it ability to sit in the gravel and stand upright. So here are the air plants. I'm just going to put some PVA glue on the bottom. Only a dab just to hold them in there so they don't fall out. And last but not least, optional extra cork to go in the top. So there you go, one 30 litre key keg tetarium. I'll keep you posted on how well this does on my Fine Key Kegs Facebook page. Do like that page to follow it. So if you like this project, please then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and future Fine Key Keg projects, I do have an upcoming solar project involving a 30 litre key keg and a 20 litre key keg. So be sure to hit that subscription button to turn on notifications not to miss it. Keep well, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you next time.